Today I'm going to share my chicken curry recipe. I've been making chicken curry like this for years. It's always turned out so nice and tasty so I thought I'd finally share this recipe with you. So I'm going to start by finally chopping some onions. I'm now going to crush some ginger. I'm now going to go ahead and crush some garlic. I'm now going to cut up some green chilies. Before we start cooking, I'm going to save some garlic, some ginger and some green chilies for later. So the first thing I'm going to do is add some oil. Once that's heated up a little, I'm going to add the onions. And now that that's soft a little bit, I'm going to add the ginger and garlic. I'm going to cook that for another five minutes in medium heat. So it's been five minutes, I'm now going to add some green chilies. I'm going to go in with some tinned tomatoes. I'm going to let that cook for another five minutes. It's time to add the spices, so I'm going to add some mixed curry powder. Here I've got some salt and some black pepper. I'm going to add some fenugreek leaves at this point. I'm going to give that a good mix. So I'm just going to add a little bit of water to that. I'm going to let that cook in the medium heat for 20 minutes. So that's been going for 20 minutes. I'm going to add a little bit of water in there and carry on cooking for five more minutes. I'm going to let that cook for another five minutes on a high heat. I'm going to mash the curry sauce like so to make it easier to cook. So at this point, I'm now going to add in the chicken. First of all, I'm going to cook that on a high heat for 10 minutes. So I'm going to put that a good stir and make sure nothing sticks to the bottom. So it'll be another 15 minutes until this chicken is cooked through. So I'm going to ensure I keep stirring this in between. So that is now ready. I'm now going to add some water. So you can make this as thin and as thick as you want. I'm going to start there. So 
So the water has now been added. I'm gonna leave that on a simmer for about 20 minutes. At this point, I'm just gonna add some fresh coriander and put the lid back on. And at this point, the chili and garlic that we saved, I'm just gonna put that in there. I'm going to let that go on a high heat for two minutes and then I'm gonna turn it back down to simmer. And we're all done, we're just going to add some ground coriander and some garam masala. <laughs> 